Hi, this is Ron with Wheel in the Sky. Today, we're going back to 1980 to revisit the Jim Ladd interview with Steve Perry and Greg Raleigh. Wheel in the Sky! Welcome to Wheel in the Sky. We're going to listen to the Jim Ladd interview from 1980 with Steve Perry and Greg Raleigh. This is a very hard to find interview. It's taken me 30 years to get the vinyl of this. I've been listening to an old scratched up cassette, which is what I made the old video of, of the homemade love. So this is a delight. I made, I, they don't come in these jackets. I had to make this. So this is my album that I made. And this is a vinyl album. So as all vinyl, it's gonna have some snap, crackle, and pop. This is 43 years old, but this is the most clean version we have right now. Much better than the old cassette that I had before. This is the entire interview in the correct order, although I did have to remove the songs for copyright reasons. And here is side one of the Jim Ladd interview from 1980. And here we go. Roll it. This is Interview, an inside look at the people whose music has changed our lives. The first half of tonight's interview is brought to you by Clarion Car Stereos, Chrysalis Records, and Circus Magazine. Where do Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, Rush, Journey, Blondie, and many more rock giants come together? Every two weeks, you'll find them in Circus Magazine, plus the most fantastic and comprehensive concert guides and list of tours, record reviews, rock and roll interviews, movie picks, and zany comics. Circus Magazine, your rock and roll magazine, is at your newsstand now. We'll be back with host Jim Ladd and Interview right after this. Moving down the highway, miles pass by. Just me and my car and my clarion making the time fly. Taking me places I've never been and letting me be in my music. With Clarion, it's like a concert in your car. Good evening, everybody. I'm Jim Ladd. And tonight, I'm about to really earn my money as the host of this show. Now, the first time I met keyboard player Greg Raleigh and guitarist Neil Schoen, I tried my very best to make them feel as comfortable and as at ease in my home as was humanly possible. You know, it's always embarrassing for me looking for cosmic consciousness in a song a guy woke up out of a drunken state at 3 in the morning and went, the wheel in the sky. <laughs> Not true. Really, I'm just spaced all the time. <laughs> Then, about a year later, Greg and Neil come over again, this time for our second interview of Journey. By now, the three of us had established an amazing rapport. You're a real to, funny guy, man. Simple-minded, that was under your name. I was like, oh, I'm sorry, that's it. Jim Ladd, simple-minded. You're right. I misread that. Why did I come here? You should have never said that, man. Jim Ladd's nice, nice to see you. That's great. That's why we like coming here. Yeah. That's why we remember the last interview. So after dealing with these guys twice already, you may ask, why would I subject myself to a third interview of Journey? Well, it's because I was assured by the guy at the record company that this time would be different. He said that he'll bring along lead vocalist Steve Perry with Greg, and that although Greg and Neil may be a bit off the wall when teamed in this kind of situation, Steve, he promised, was a calming influence on Greg, owing to the fact that Steve Perry has a rather shy and quiet personality. I don't want people out there to really think that you're you're odd looking, but I mean, if they, <laughs> no, I mean, honest, Jim. I mean, right. you know, the, the guy you never get to see because he never comes oh, out. I mean, if, you, if, if you've ever read the the Howard Hughes story, that is an inclination of, of the long fingernails and the that third ear on the forehead that's rude. Really <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, right down the old tubes. Down the old tubes. Listen, all your fans are gonna really, <laughs> really know exactly so what you look okay, like man. now. I'm Thanks. so glad that your nose is as big as mine because I'm safe on those oh, comments. No, 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 no. <laughs> I would now like to publicly apologize for this interview of Journey.
So, uh, Greg, would you just uh, say hello to the audience so they can distinguish your voice? Okay. From, uh, Hi, this is Greg Raleigh, and coming to you on, oh, various places. <laughs> <laughs> Try to do something warm and creative like that, okay, Steve? Okay. <laughs> okay. So you can distinguish my voice uh, between uh, Greg's is... Hi. <laughs> so that, that brings us to the first question. When did you have the sex change operation? That's well, what I want to know. When I, when I was 13, I realized that was the point in time that I should really get a hold of things and get them sliced away. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so that the voice would stay high and I'd have no problems. I smoke tons of pot. I, I eat hash. My voice stays high. It's really easy. No work to it at all. No work to it all because they're just gone and sitting in a jar somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with our minds. Uh -uh. <laughs> Do you, uh, uh, Greg, now that, uh, what's his name's in the band and sings? <laughs> what's his name? <laughs> what's his face here? Uh? Right. <laughs> Do you miss, uh, all of the space you used to have to stretch out instrumentally? Does that bother you at all anymore? N uh, no. As a matter of fact, I enjoy playing the format that, that we're doing now because it's just as demanding and sometimes even more demanding to be able to just play good rhythm. And I don't mind it at all. The, the solo work, you know, sometimes can be way easier. I like the, the tunes and the whole format all together more than, you know, just my individual thing. You know? Being able to just rip it. Yeah. That concept, you know, was really, that ended on uh, the Infinity album pretty much. Whereas we used to, you know, okay, sing a little and everybody solo. You know, that's really what that was like. And it proved to ourselves that we can do that. But it, it, as far as uh, the musical concept of it, I like songs. The only way the band can stay together is to play the music it feels comfortable playing. It can't formulate anything because it won't feel comfortable with itself and it will break up. So we're playing the kind of music we enjoy playing and lucky for us it's, it's really unique and it's ourselves and lucky for us everybody else recognizes it as such and likes us for it. Okay, what if we could only have some humor. Yeah, that, we could just really. have a good time. Okay. I'm Jim Ladd, and we're back now with our interview of Journey. I, I want to talk to you about this song here, People and Places, mm -hmm. which sounds like you're singing to the audience. You're it is. Particular no, it's about atomic warfare. No, but People and Places is, is, um, is directed to the, to the audience because we do travel so much, we're on the road so much, and, you know, being in lonely, lonely places and seeing people's faces and seeing traces of... Uh, of pain in their eyes, you know, things they've been through. You see a lot of faces in, when you're in the business we're in. Every night, they're just glowing at you, you know. And you can see happiness, you can see uh, pain, you can see a lot, you know. And it's just an exchange, a song between us and the people, it really is. Are we people that you want to know? Well, you're the people that we want to know. I try to make contact with every person that I can that I can see. And to a point, there's a line of sight that disappears once the lights take over. You just can't see anymore. But from the glow from the stage, you can see, I'd say, a good 20 rows in. And uh, you can see their faces, you know. There's a lot, a lot, of, a lot of messages there. A lot of uh, seems to be a lot of stories in everybody's faces. I think the kind of songs that we write are, are trying to open, you know, take a ride on your on a rocket, take your mind on rocket. In other words, open up and start being a little more aware. Trying to make people aware of things. I don't want to wave peace signs or anything, but it's been a long time since people sort of stuck together as opposed to pulled apart. Amen. You know, and so it's it's just I think it's it's long overdue. And if you you obviously know as everybody else is starting to know, we even if you got a lobotomy, you can tell that the world isn't in much of good shape right now. And so uh, I think it's time for us to reenact some good feelings between people as a race and try to pull some things together. Because if we don't, the governments of the world are going to do it for us, and they don't do good jobs usually. That's nice to hear uh, in 1980 because there wasn't much of that going down in 1970s. No, that's true. No, there 60s, was a, yeah, yeah. The 60s happened because there was a reason for it. So now it's happening and it should happen because there's a reason, not because it's happening because it was once happened because it was a I 60s see. thing. Like, uh, it looked like there for a while uh, after the 60s, it looked like things were looking pretty good. We got out of Nam, things were looking all right. Now things are looking worse than ever before. You know, they're not even talking about war anymore. They're talking about just sort of evaporating people now. Yeah. Give me a break. You know, it's totally out of hand. The, the, the total fear that existed in the 60s that we thought, we thought we had calmed down is now arriving again in huge proportions of reality, which makes it even more frightening. I was captured by the light of a wayward smile. But I'm into, like, making my message in that medium as opposed to maybe doing another thing. I don't, I, that's the way you I feel right now. As opposed to attending a, 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 a rally or something? As opposed yeah. to attending a rally at this point right now, okay? Lord knows I've done it before. 
But uh, for one thing, we're quite busy and always on the road, to be honest with you. So this is the only way I can actually reach out myself lyrically and make statements like that. And someday soon, Greg Raleigh, it's the same kind of a song, we're, we're the same kind of a positive lyric. So we're, straight, we're striking out the best we can. But as far as to actually uh, go down to um, Diablo or, yeah. or San Luis Obispo, I don't know. I would see, it, basically, because the songs were written for people, which is what he was saying in the first place. And to positive thought during times where, you know, maybe you don't have so many. I don't think we ever even protested against the government. I think all we did was protest against people who weren't paying attention, that this is the only way we can do it, is to wake these people up. And now it's time for people to do that again. Mm -hmm. People are just sitting around not paying attention. They're sitting up on their houses or, or, in, or in their, whether you're rich, poor, or whatever. They're eating their dinner and just watching uh, Mork and Mindy. Hey, and this is... Uh, and getting ready to vote for either Reagan or Carter. What a choice. <laughs> <laughs> right, wow. you know, I mean, what, where is it going? I don't know. I'm scared, and I don't even know if I ever want to have kids in my lifetime. Yeah. I don't know if I want to be a kid in my life. <laughs> right. I, I don't know if I ever was a kid in my life. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's a good concept. Was I ever a child? Really? I was just uh, an adult waiting to grow into my nose. I'm still waiting. <laughs> <laughs> my body going to form. You're taking all my jokes, Jack. <laughs> and that's for me. I'll be right there. <laughs> Interview. A new concept in radio. And that's the end of side one on the Jim Ladd interview of Journey, 1980. Thank you for watching, and we'll get to side two as soon as possible. I've got a couple more album reviews to do before I get to it, but we'll sure get back to this as soon as possible. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and um, see you on the next one.